What's up, douches? So, look. This might be a little bit all over the place. This might explain a little bit more what I was doing at Night for Freedom. I'm almost positive I've told Stephanie this. I should not have told her this, but I did. So, allegedly... One of the reasons why I'm I was involved in this political shit or got flagged for it as the best candidate, allegedly. Well because I've said this before. My grandpa was a Marine, an intel agent, a cop, and then a teacher. When he retires. So. One of the things he did as a cop. Was take down some people in the mafia. Who were allegedly in the family. And he turned down bribes. To do that. And all that shit. And I think that's why he's a bit. He's a bit like everyone says he's a bit of a hard ass. And that's probably why. All that shit he went through. <clears throat> but. Wouldn't you know it. The majority. Of Rhino. Republican in name only corruption. Can be traced back to. Allegedly. The New York Mafia in Brooklyn. And that's where my family's from, allegedly. Or was, or whatever that bullshit. So. I was just keeping the family legacy alive by stopping corruption. Now, with that being said, The way I was able to do that was I keep to myself. I don't post too much, or at least not for a while. I wouldn't put, post too cra much crazy shit until I, ha until I had a need to act crazy online. And I try to limit my pictures and all that bullshit. That way no one needs to know my business but me and those who are involved in it. So, it's very possible, if not probable, that the same formula would be used for a different issue. If they have people who listen to like hymns or video game music, all day long and meditate all day long and focus on like getting aw getting away with like helping people there's people who do all that and want to hurt people and when you look into all the Mormon temple shit behind the scenes it's all mind control magic in my opinion it's mind control magic. <clears throat> like, like that shit, the 72 demons of, of Goetia being like the 72 emotions and like reactions he, he, humans have based on their psyche. You can use that to control people. and gaslight them, which is a form of control. Mormons do that one all the time. They'll help you, they'll help you. And then, when um, 
you trust them, they'll see if they can betray your trust just a little bit. Ask for forgiveness. Anyways. So, this shooter incident has a mind control plant written all over it. Just like JFK Jr. I mean, Bobby Kennedy. Just like um, Reagan. Like, you should really look up. Like, this is the way I view it. If you want real answers, go back, go back farther. You should look up Brigham Young's nephew. Brigham Young's nephew is the one who was involved in shit like the Mountain Meadows Massacre, which is when the Mormons attacked people from America on the way to California, which at the time I believe was owned by Mexico because of the betrayals that were done to Joseph Smith and all that bullshit. Shit like that. So. That dude was hung or shot by a firing squad because just before he died, he confessed. He said that basically Brigham Young since he was a child, mind controlled him, put him in like these situations where he like would toughen him up and all that bullshit and then started sending him on like secret missions, keep the faith, celestial kingdom, all that bullshit. <clears throat> and then once he got to a certain point where like the next step would be like him taking Brigham Young's space, Brigham Young turned him in and committed and said he did all the crimes against America, kill him, will be absolved of sin, and they basically joined America like 20 years afterwards. So shit like that goes on for real, for real. The art, the, the World War I, the Archduke being shot, people think that was mind control also. A, a lot of the mind control happened after the Mormon temple got found. I think all the mind control technology was in the Mormon temple. And that's what the Mormons use to be a world player on the scene. <laughs> Mormons invented TV. They even have a theater stage in the temple. Because life is a theater. And you have to get everyone to agree to your level of r r reality. That way you can control it. Shared emotional, all that bullshit. That's why... It's so easy for them to prey on people like Tiffany. It's almost like a shooting fish in a barrel. She's never had a chance to, to learn anything else. I won't go into that, but it's obviously that she's jaded and all that bullshit. But you take someone who's jaded, you shelter them away from society, you feed them propaganda, and then you give them the means to do some shit for your agenda. It's the oldest trick in the book. Anyways. Peace out.